The ranked season ends tomorrow here on MLB 23. I'm only nine points away, one win away from making World Series division and getting to choose one of these three cards. This is the team I'm using today. I got some guys on the bench depending on the handedness of the pitcher. And my starting pitcher today is going to be Zach Granke, one of the World Series rewards, making his debut, trying to get us this win. I'm the away team, so I get a hit first. Max Freed on the mound for our opponent. Zach Granke making his debut you trying to get us a pack where we could even choose that card i've been playing pretty well i've played two games already got two rage quits ended up being one win away from world series and i thought that would be a good video for today is trying to make world series a 3-1 count to Cattell Marte. ellie is on deck and that's ball four a leadoff walk so just like that the perfect game's gone and ellie oh that's gotta go I th no, I'm sending the runner all the way. That's not being caught. Ellie De La Cruz. He literally just got me a rage quit to get us one win away from World Series off of John Donaldson. And now, he's given us a 2-0 lead in our World Series game. Nobody down. That's a literal perfect start to this game. I was playing some ranked seasons yesterday, not doing that well. I decided to stop playing and come back today, and all of a sudden, I'm playing way better. And there's only two things that I changed. The first thing is, I got way more sleep. I only got like three or four hours the night before last, and then last night, I just slept until my body felt like it was time to get up as Stanton's grounding out for out number one. And then the other thing I did is I got a couple chocolate chip cookies from Wendy's and I told my brain, hey, if we can win a ranked seasons game, you get a bite of the cookie. And so now it feels like my brain is a little bit more focused, doing a little bit better, trying to win this game because it knows if I win and make World Series, I get to eat this chocolate chip cookie. Oh, I'm striking out with J-Ram. Wow way too late on that one gonna try to start a two-out rally before zach granke makes his debut we took a lead i'm hoping we can hold on to it the very first batter that zach granke faces is gonna be out number one i wasn't sure if mccutcheon was gonna be able to catch that and look at that the very next pitch out number two I hope Corbin Carroll catches this. I think the perfect game and no-hitter might be gone. Yeah, they're both gone. The good news is it's staying in the ballpark. It's a two-out double. The tying run is in the batter's box. We're facing Stanton. We just can't let him hit a two-run home run. And we're striking out Stanton, the first one of the day for Zach Greinke. A scoreless bottom of the first inning. I'm just trying to add on to this lead now. McCutcheon's got a 560 batting average for me. I think maybe an 82 or 83 at bats. This man is just insane so far this year. We have a full count to Andrew McCutcheon. And it's ball four to lead off the second inning. Last time we had a leadoff walk, we hit a two-run home run. I will say Jonah Heim has just been not getting it done versus lefties for me. And Jonah Heim gets a single. I thought Mike Trout might have hit a home run just late. If we had good timing, that would have been a three-run bomb. Let's try to get another good swing, but keep it fair. I did not mean to swing at that. I tried to check my swing. That's the first out. Corbin Carroll, we have a lefty on the mound. I do like Corbin Carroll, but with that lefty in my World Series game... I'm subbing in Ronald Acuna Jr., the first and only member of the 4070 club. Let's see if he could hit a home run for us. And he hits a home run for us. Make it 41. Actually, I don't know how many he has for me. 12. So we're pushing our way towards that 4070 club. I still have 28 more homers to hit, but that's a big one. It's 5 nothing now. Top of the lineup coming back around. That's a pretty good guy to have in the number 9 spot. I wish that would have gotten through. I wish I wouldn't have grounded out. Maybe we'll start a 2-out rally. Ellie De La Cruz is going to get a single. 
Wait, never mind. That's a great play. I think they got him by half a step. I kind of want to see a slow motion replay. Maybe challenge the call. As Ronald makes it 5 0. Zach Granke making his debut, looking to keep his shutout going. This person, I'm not sure if y'all could see, is the 89th person in the world. Now 526 people have him super fractured. But he was number 89 to get Rafael Devers super fractured. Who's popping out for round number one? Wow. A little bit unlucky. We had him played perfectly for round number two. And look at that. Super Jones is super fractured. 26th out of 26. He's the 26th and most recent person to get this 97 chipper parallel five. Yeah. Baby Johnny 2000. I think this dude has been playing a lot of MLB The Show recently. And Zach Granke has two scoreless innings in his debut. Again, he's one of the World Series rewards that we're going for. Stanton. Your opponent has requested a friendly quit. Yo, I am winning this game 5-0. Maybe if it was 0-0. Zero, zero. But even then, I just don't think that's something I want to accept. I guess he was just seeing if I would be kind. Or maybe just accidentally accept it. But no, this is my World Series game. I want to get that pack. I want to get one of those cards. The season ends literally tomorrow. And if you're wondering how I got that Zach Greinke card, he's from the Ranked Seasons program. Oh, Stanton. If we had a good timing, that would have been a home run. But I finished the Ranked Seasons program the game before this one. And I decided, hey, this is the perfect time to debut with the Zach Greinke. Is the game where we're trying to get that pack because... He's the non-sellable that I chose. That card is non-sellable, so I'm kind of stuck with him forever. And now it's going to be, if I do make World Series, I have to choose between, I think, 99 Gary Carter or 99 Trevor Story. If you're watching this video right now, who would you choose? In the comment section, let me know. I'm also probably going to, if I make World Series at the end of this video, I would open the pack and actually make my choice and probably ask again if you're watching. Who would you choose? Jose Ramirez down the line. Do I go? Oh my goodness. Look at him in the outfield. He's missing balls with his bat and with his fielders. That's a triple for Jose Ramirez. It is six to nothing. I don't even think that counts as a hit. It said E5. That's an error on the third baseman. But Jose Ramirez still ends up at third base. I thought we might have had a home run and didn't get the PC out of the ball. I hope I didn't leave early. I don't think I did. And it's 7 to 0 here in inning number 3. 1898 OPS, 18 homers, 32 RBIs, 47 hits. That's a 560 average in 84 at bats for this 99 overall Andrew McCutcheon. This has probably been my best card this year. His retro finest was one of, if not my favorite cards last year. And I've been loving him ever since I chose him as my non-sellable flawless reward. And I think maybe the last Battle Royale program. And look at him here. Getting his batting average even higher. His OPS even higher. I might go for a triple. No, I'm going to stop at second. I didn't really want to risk it. We only have one down. I'm hitting the ball pretty well. There's a good chance with him in scoring position now that he ends up scoring anyways. I missed the floater. That hanging curveball with Jonah Heim. I'm way too late on it. And Mike Trout is sending us to the bottom of the third inning. Got another hanging curveball. A little bit early. Didn't quite get the PCI there. And it's 7-0 to zero for Zach Granke, who's going for his third scoreless inning in a row. One batter, one out. I actually tried to get him because I saw the shift was on. I threw an off-speed pitch on the outside part of the plate, trying to get him to roll over it. And that's exactly what he did. Maybe instead of throwing random pitches, I need to play to the handedness and even sometimes the shift of the defense. Now, I will say, I definitely played to the hand in this right, trying to jam the same hand in this righty, righty, lefty, lefty. Zach Granke in his debut, three scoreless innings, only one hit allowed. He's got a 7 nothing lead. Ronald Acuna Jr.'s three run homers a part of that. 
Looking to be two for two before we go back to the top of our lineup. And he is out in front of that circle change. 0-2. We're still seeing the ball pretty well. If I can score... Oh, we missed that one. If I can score three or more runs in this inning, if it could be 10-0 or higher in the bottom of the fourth, we'd actually be going for a mercy rule. So I would love to score at least three runs here. Already one down, though, to start following the fly out. And that's ball four to Cattell Marte. My bad. I was taking a little bit of a nap. Ellie has a home run. It was a two-run home run. Does he have another two-run home run? Yes, he does. The other way, 9-0. We are one run away from being able to go for a mercy rule in the bottom of the fourth inning. So let's really try our hardest right now to just get at least one more run across against Max Freed here in the top of the fourth. I thought Stanton might be able to do something. 71 speed's pretty fast for him. Is he doing the splits at first base? Now we need a two-ounce rally to score this run for going the... Now we need a two-ounce rally if we want to go for the mercy rule here in the fourth. Oh, I'm, I'm just... I'm getting over-anxious now. I want to swing at everything. The high fastball got me swinging. And we just need another scoreless inning from Zach Granke. He's been pitching pretty well. Let's try to keep it going. And that's strike three. A great start to the fourth inning. I think maybe only the second strikeout for Granke so far today. But he's been dealing nonetheless. Only one hit allowed. And it was actually to the guy batting. This 99 core moments extreme. The extreme program. Ken Griffey Jr. Has the only hit of the ball game for my opponent. And he's going to be one for two. Zach Granke wins this battle. One out away from going to try to get our lead up to 10. And Stanton, very first pitch. Jammed for round number three. Four scoreless innings on the day in Zach Granke's debut. Let's try to add on to this lead. Only one run away from getting a mercy rule if Zach Granke keeps dealing. Brand new pitcher, Josh Sabors. Josh Bores. Josh Sabor. Josh is the new relief pitcher. 125 hits per nine, four seam slider, and a slur. And Adley gets a hit on the very first pitch he throws. Juan Soto is going to be pinch hitting for Andrew McCutcheon now that there's a righty on the mound. Oh, don't be a double play. That's probably the worst thing I could have done right there. We need a two out rally now. I wish that would have been a home run. Jonah Heim, two out base hit. He's the potential winning run if we could drive him in. I struck out with Mike Trout. All right, Zach Granke, let's have another scoreless inning, man. One batter, one out. He's still dealing. Three and two to Adley Rushman. Perfect release. And it's strike three, his fourth of the game. Now it is three and two to Chipper Jones. Oh, yes, he did. No, it's ball four. A two-out walk for Chipper Jones brings up Buck O'Neill. But it's still another scoreless inning following that strikeout from Zach Granke. Nine to nothing after five. Our nine, one, and two hitters coming up. Ronald might get a base hit. If he has him out here, that is one of the most insane plays I have ever seen. 105 off the bat diving to knock it down and getting back up to get the speedy ronald acuna jr wow ellie de la cruz is my final hope here in inning number six oh one to start but he does have two home runs already in this ball game and that is a three homer game from 99 ellie de la cruz that one might actually be 500 feet 475 feet for ellie now we are three ounce away from getting a mercy rule to make World Series. Stanton's one for three. I have my DH spot open. Kyle Schwarber's on the bench for that. Facing the righty, I'm going to a lefty. If he goes to a lefty out of the bullpen, which he is, Brad Hand, I have another guy on the bench. We actually have Byron Buxton ready to face the left-handed pitcher. And it looks like that move paid off. This could be a good two-ounce rally. I wouldn't mind adding on to this lead a little bit more. 
Missed it with Jose Ramirez. He might drop this. I doubt it. Yeah. All right. On our way to the bottom of the sixth inning, thanks to Ellie's third home run of the game. And now, Zach Granke in his debut, throwing a one-hitter shutout is three ounce away from a mercy rule. Make it two ounce away from the mercy. Make it one ounce away from the mercy. Back-to-back -back ounce on back-to-back -back pitches. And that is a mercy rule to make World Series. Who better than Ellie De La Cruz to make the diving game winning out as the game is called due to mercy rule and that is by far the player of the game ellie de la cruz with three home runs ronald acuna jr with a three run home run what a way to make world series that ended up being a pretty good debut for zach granke one hit one walk five strikeouts across six scoreless innings and we are up to 907. We've made World Series one day before the season ends, which means as we get some parallel XP, Zach Granky up to P1, Ellie up to P3, which means I've gotten my World Series reward pack. In the comments section, let me know who you would choose. We have 99 overall, Gary Carter. There's also this 99 Trevor Story. And then the guy that I chose from the program pack, the non-sellable, we have 99 Zach Granke. So I already have him. For me, it's going to be a choice between Gary Carter or Trevor Story. And I kind of like Jonah Heim as catcher. I would otherwise use Adley Rushman. So I don't think that I want Gary Carter. I'm going to try Trevor Story, but I'm not even sure if I'd be using him instead of Cattell Marte or Ellie De La Cruz. And if I don't use him, hey, there's over 150,000 stubs. If you made it to the end, let me know by dropping a like on the video. Subscribe. We have daily uploads on the channel. You might enjoy one of the videos that's on screen right here. And I think I kind of want to choose 99 overall Manny Machado. And now I get to eat this chocolate chip cookie from Wendy's. If you haven't tried their cookies, they're some of my favorite chocolate chip cookies out there, at least for a fast food place.